Hey there, uh, in this particular session, we are going to look at uh, how we can connect to uh, the Trascentis mobile agent from our Tosca project. And then we'll also see how we can scan a particular uh, mobile application, which is running on a real device. Uh, in this case, it will be an Android device. And uh, I'll be using uh, a remote Trascentis mobile agent, which is running on a Mac OS. So uh, we'll be creating a new project uh, in our Tosca, and then we will see how we can scan a particular application, how we can create a test case from the scanned module. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, create a new project now. Uh, for now, I'll be just using a single user workspace, but we can also work with a multi-user workspace, as you know. So let's name this uh, mobile training and then uh, we will use a workspace template here so we will select the standard dsu and then click on ok to create our workspace so once this is created uh, we will go to our tosca workspace or project and uh, all of this uh, looks pretty similar uh, because it is the same workspace where you are working uh, with other applications like your API or web applications. Uh, it is the same for mobile applications. It is just that now we'll be scanning uh, the mobile elements instead of uh, elements on a web application, right? Uh, so what I'll do, I'll go to home and I'll go to project. Um, I will also close all the other tabs and this is our project and workspace. So here, uh, first we'll go to modules, right? And then here uh, we will create a new module, right? And uh, we'll call this, let's call this mobile for now. And then here uh, we have to scan a mobile application. Now uh, the scanning engine for mobile uh, is different. So it uses the mobile engine for scanning uh, elements on a mobile application. So I uh, will right click, uh, we'll go to scan and here we'll select mobile instead of application, API or the other options, right? So we'll be choosing mobile here. So uh, the X scan will start and uh, it will show this uh, window where you have to provide some details. So uh, we need to provide uh, a connection uh, and then we need to provide a device and we need to provide an application. Not all of these uh, are mandatory, but the connection is mandatory to provide. So this connection is basically a connection to your uh, TMA, which is the Trascentis mobile agent where all your devices are configured. So it could be your local. So if you have configured your TMA on a Windows device, you can choose local. Uh, if you want to choose a remote TMA, which is configured on a different operating system like a Mac OS or a Linux OS, uh, then we have to provide a remote uh, TMA. If you are working with cloud devices, then you can also provide a cloud TMA. So I'll be working uh, with a remote TMA for this particular session. So we'll click on this add connection. And here we need to enter the name for the connection and the type, as you can see, there are uh, four different types here. So there is remote, there is cloud APM, there is uh, TDC, and there is virtual mobile grid. So uh, we will discuss about all the different options, but for now we'll choose the remote TMA. So now uh, we will add uh, this name for the connection. So let's call this remote now. And uh, we need to provide the mobile agent server address. Now, when you are configuring your TMA um, and it is configured, you can go to the agent settings. There you will find your uh, computer name, which is nothing but an IP address. We'll also provide uh, the port here. So 8585, the port will remain same. And we'll click on save. Uh, so once your connection is successful for your uh, Trascentis mobile agent, you will get all the devices which are configured on that particular TMA, right? So as you can see, uh, I'm getting all uh, the 
emulators which are present here for iOS devices. And along with that, I have also connected a real device, uh, which is uh, my Android device, right? So I'm going to select uh, this particular device. And then once your uh, connection is successful with the device, uh, then you will find all the preloaded applications or the default applications which are present in that device. Okay, so if your application is already installed, you can directly select that from the list or uh, we can also add our own application. So let's go ahead and add an application for now. And we'll talk about uh, the web option. Uh, we have also got the native and hybrid option here. So now in this particular video, we are going to look at the native app. Uh, a native app is an application which works with a particular uh, operating system, right? So for an Android device, you will have an Android native app. So uh, we'll select this particular option and then click on continue. Uh, we'll choose uh, the application type, if it is iOS or Android. For me, uh, it is Android and uh, we need to give it a name and then the full path of the package name. Now, depending on the type of application, the package will be different. Okay, so I do have um, an Android app uh, on my system. So this is the API demo uh, debug.apk. So this is for Android. I'm going to copy this path and then we will come back here and we'll call this API demo. We'll provide the path here, click on add. Uh, we'll talk about all these different options, run live view and reset application, set capabilities. So we'll talk about desired capabilities later. For now, we'll just leave uh, the default options here and go ahead and connect to the particular device on the Tacentis mobile agent. So as you can see, uh, the mobile scan is trying to open the application on the device. So now uh, we can see uh, the device on the left-hand side and the application is already opened. Uh, we have got two options here. So uh, we have got the mobile scan and the IBTA scan. Uh, we need to use the mobile scan to scan the application. So uh, now we can go ahead and scan our application. And this is the similar view, uh, like any application you scan with Tosca, you get advanced and a basic view. So with the basic view, you can scan multiple screens and with the advanced, you will get all the elements on the screen, right? On the right-hand side, we have got all the properties as well. So here, uh, what we can do, let's go ahead and uh, select any particular element here. So I'll select app and uh, we'll see if this uh, element is unique or not. And then if not, we can make it unique. So currently it is not unique. So in the properties section, we have got an option to make it unique. So we'll go ahead and uh, use this uh, method. Otherwise we can select any other properties to make this particular element unique. So now you can see uh, the item is unique. So I will go ahead and uh, save this module. Okay, and then the scan will close. So uh, now we have got a particular module here, as you can see. So now, as you can see, uh, we were able to get uh, a module which we have scanned from our mobile application, which is connected uh, to a remote DMA. So this is how you can uh, scan uh, any mobile application uh, which is a native app on your device, which is a iOS or a Android right from Tosca. So in the next session, uh, we'll be talking about how we can uh, use this module in a test case so that uh, we can run some automation on our mobile application.